Why is lukewarmness so strongly condemned in the book of Revelation? Let's find out. In the Bible, lukewarmness is strongly condemned because it represents a lack of wholehearted commitment to God and His ways. Jesus specifically addresses this issue in Revelation 3, 15 to 16 when speaking to the church in Laodicea. Firstly, lukewarmness referred to a state of spiritual indifference and apathy. It's when someone claims to follow God but doesn't show genuine passion or dedication in their faith. Their half-hearted approach displeases God because it shows a lack of genuine love and devotion towards Him. Secondly, the lukewarmness indicates a self-sufficiency. People who are lukewarm may rely more on their own abilities and resources rather than depending on God for guidance and strength. This attitude of self-reliance can lead to spiritual stagnation and distancing from God. Third, lukewarmness undermines the transformative power of the gospel. God desires his followers to be fervent and zealous in their commitment to him, allowing his Holy Spirit to work within them to bring about changes and their personal growth. But lukewarmness hinders this process by resisting the Holy Spirit work and remaining unchanged in their heart and behavior. Fourthly, lukewarmness fails to fulfill the purpose of being a witness for God in the world. Christians are called to be a salt and light, reflecting God's love and truth to others. However, when believers are lukewarm, their witness becomes ineffective and may even cause others to stumble or turn away from God. And finally, Jesus wants that he will spit out the lukewarm from his mouth, emphasizing the seriousness of this condition. The strong language highlights the dangers of lukewarmness in God's eyes and the consequences it carries for those who persist in it. Ultimately, lukewarmness is condemned because it falls short of God's desire for wholehearted devotion and commitment from his followers.